this is Ryan Nabolsi, the assistant director from Jennifer Schwartz Gallery, and I'm with Art Relish today, interviewing David Walter Banks and Kendrick Brinson of Luceo Images with their opening of Escape. So I just want to ask you guys a few questions. Um, first off, what was the kind of start of this body of work? My contribution to the show is from a project entitled The Fourth Wall, and which is a theatrical term for the invisible barrier between the audience and the characters on stage. And I started looking at this idea, actually. First image was a photograph right there and uh, hadn't quite figured out what the project was yet. So I started looking at this idea of, of these, these fantasy worlds, these fake altered realities, and uh, this trend that Walt Disney really started back when he created Disneyland and said, hey, these places can be for adults and not just children. And Kendrick, what about your series? Uh, my project is in Sun City, Arizona, and I actually kind of stumbled upon this project. I um, was watching a movie, and there's about two minutes that is shot in Sun City, and I was just so drawn to the cul-de-sacs and the golf cart lanes. And so I did some research, and I found out Sun City was the first retirement city in the world, and it still remains the largest. There's 40,000 people there, and it's got the, the most 100-year-olds, co concentration of 100-year-olds anywhere. And it's just this idea of there is no age there. You have to be 55 or older to live there. So if you never see a 14-year-old or you never see a six-year-old, then you're not old. So um, there's cheerleaders there. Everyone's learning new things. It's amazing. You guys are from a group called Luceo Images. Can you explain a little bit more about that group? Sure. Um, Luceo is a cooperative of six photographers based around the country as well as Southeast Asia. And we are founded with the purpose of supporting each other and pushing forward long-term documentary cultural and social projects. And how did you guys get involved with Luceo? It was originally, I think, an idea that we were all thinking about. And I reached out to these folks and we came and met and slept on my floor for three days and hatched out the whole process and that was four years ago and, uh, and we're going strong today. We're here in front of Sun City Palms, part of uh, it's Kendrick Brinson's Sun City series and she's going to tell us a little bit about this piece. Uh, this photo just cracks me up and it's really funny because a lot of editors have seen it and a lot of editors have, magazine editors, have written me and said this is their favorite photo but they can't run it because of this portion of it, which I think is a very fine uh, backside for uh, someone in their 70s and 80s. But um, it's just, this is just such an amazing place and this, when I found out there was cheerleaders in their 70s and 80s in Sun City, I knew it was a place I had to go to and a place I had to document. And this woman right here, Lois, is like the head cheerleader and she's who you would think would be the head cheerleader in high school. And she ends it with a split, and she's always, you know, telling Pat to, like, straighten her legs and everything. So it's just, it's an incredible place, and I feel like this kind of embodies the energy there. What's so amazing about it is that the people who live here love it so much. And a lot of them, they don't, they didn't come from, you know, like, really, they're, they're not, it's not a place where you have to be very wealthy to live. It's a place that... It's self-governed, so that the property taxes are really cheap. So, you know, a, a farmer from Wisconsin can move there and retire younger and still go back in the summers and, you know, tend to his cattle. And so the people there are so happy to be talking about Sun City, and they're so happy that I'm there, and they're just so welcoming and so energetic. And then I feel like I have, you know, a dozen grandparents and parents <laughs> every time I go there. I, I drive their golf carts, I hang out with them, I eat dinner with them. So... When I'm 55, <laughs> you know, I might be moving in. And we're here with David Walter Banks in front of his piece, Mermaid Secrets, from his Fourth Wall series. Can you just tell us a little bit about this piece? Sure. Uh, this was shot in a place called Wikiwachi, Florida. And stepped into this place and absolutely fell in love with it. And I, in my daily work, I, I really try to look for the surreal in the everyday. And with this project, I get to just immerse myself in these places that are completely surreal. And this was a place in a state park. It's this underwater theater. It's a total 70s throwback. And it just 
I, emanates everything that I love about these places. The performers love it. All the people there are fascinated, you know, they're in this other world. And um, it's finding these little gems is you know, a reason why I love doing what I do.